okay welcome back guys and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how we are uh, going to export all of this outside of zbrush because we have a lot of high detail right now and you can see that uh the different um sub tools i imported i've made sure that there's not like huge gaps in the uh, arms and the body and the head so make sure uh, you have like really small amount of gaps before you start uh, what I'm going to teach you in this video. We are going to be looking at uh, Decimation Master in which I'm going to show you how you can reduce the poly count because a mesh this large if you uh, try to bake that onto a low poly mesh it's gonna take a lot of time inside of substance painter so to save you time and effort where if you think there was a, a small mistake or uh, some artifacts happening inside of your uh, mesh when you baked that detail uh, just to uh, save a lot of time what we do is we use decimation master and we mask out areas where uh, we want the detail to be preserved then we use pre-process current and hit decimate what this does is that it tries its best to uh, save detail on areas where which are masked out but it's gonna create a bit of a problem for the face because uh, I've uh, chopped it up in a way that all the detail is already on the front and it's gonna triangulate or uh, create some really bad topology for the bad back faces so um, this might take like one or two tries to understand if I'm doing this properly. But uh, since I'm going to be doing this again and again, you'll uh, understand what it was that I was trying to show you guys. Without further ado, let's get into it. Thank you. 
so now that we have uh, decimated everything we are going to export that for a substance but the first thing I want to point out is that if you do an FBX export it's gonna give you a lot of settings so uh, just to save you the headache I'm just showing you these don't do this just do an OBJ export instead mm -hmm.